Welcome to VCSD News. Here's a look at what's happening in the Bakersfield City School District, where children come first. VCSD is excited to welcome students back to campus, and we wanted to take this opportunity to help you better understand our back to school plan. Students will continue to learn virtually until the date of their grade level return. Self-contained special education students and pre-K through second grade students who elected to return to in-person instruction will do so on April 8th. Teachers and staff will spend two days planning and preparing prior to the return and on April 6th and 7th, self-contained special education students and pre-K through second grade students will participate in a 30-minute virtual class meeting with their teacher, then work asynchronously for the remainder of the day. Third through sixth grade elementary students who elected to return to in-person instruction will do so on April 12th. The two days prior, third through sixth grade elementary students will also participate in a 30-minute virtual class meeting with their teacher, then work asynchronously for the remainder of the school day. Students will be expected to follow new health and safety protocols while on campus. Parents should conduct daily health screenings using the BCSD Daily Health Screening Guide each morning before school. If your child is experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms, they must remain home. School gates open at 8 a.m. each morning. Before entering campus, students will participate in a non-contact temperature check and health screening. Students will not be allowed on campus if they exhibit COVID-19 symptoms or their temperature exceeds 100.4 degrees. You will be contacted and are required to pick up your child if it is determined COVID-19 symptoms or fever are present. Students are required to wear a mask at all times while on campus. Students must also maintain physical distancing of at least six feet between themselves and others. Students will be encouraged to wash their hands often and frequently. Classrooms and desks have been spaced appropriately with a plexiglass barrier at each desk. Students must remain seated at their desks and behind their plexiglass barriers at all times unless otherwise instructed by their teacher. We encourage students to bring a refillable water bottle to school. One-time use disposable cups will also be provided. Students should keep their Chromebooks at home to continue learning after lunch. Students should bring their textbooks to school to be used during in-person instruction. They could ensure that they can control the smart board and their technology from wherever they are in the classroom. Teachers are also gearing up to return to the classroom. Classrooms are now equipped with tools to support teachers during in-person and virtual instruction. As we start coming back to our classrooms and we start, um, and we start adjusting based off of this new context, we wanted to make sure that teachers could move themselves and their equipment as needed each classroom has two computer monitors, a wireless mouse and keyboard, a webcam and tripod, a lapel microphone, and a standing mobile desk. The point of the additional equipment is to ensure that teachers can meet the needs of the students given the evolving and changing context. Students will also have headphones with a microphone. So now that we're back in classroom, that the students who are virtual have those same opportunities that the students who are in person have. Teachers can sign up for optional training on how to use the new technology. Go to the link on your screen to participate. You can also find video tutorials and more in the Teacher Ed Tech Center. California water is a scarce resource, so we have to do something now and save water for our future. Students in Ms. Elrod's class at Munsey Elementary used critical thinking skills to solve a local water problem as part of the Cal Water Challenge. We wanted to help solve this issue because we are wasting a lot of water. Each person actually wastes 56 gallons of water a day. Through research, inquiry, and the application of math and science, students studied gray water and its potential uses in California agriculture. Students found soap can help break surface tension and hypothesized that gray water may help with water penetration of soils that have been dried too long and have become hydrophobic. I did the pepper experiment. I put fresh water and pepper on a plate. I put a drop of dish soap on my thumb and touched the center of the water. I noticed that the pepper in the water 
this went to the edges. As part of the competition, students can win $1,000 each for their research and discovery. I think the major accomplishment of our project as a class, um, we learned we could conserve water using drink using gray water instead of drinking water. Great work, stars. To watch their entire research video, go to the BCSD YouTube page. We end this edition of BCSD News acknowledging those who have gone above and beyond this school year. Congratulations to our March Excellence in Education Award recipients. Well done.